suddenly the top four might become a top six again and it becomes more of a battle up there. And, you yeah. know, the season we walked the league with 26 wins in the first 27 games and everyone complained that it was a procession and what they wanted was a challenge. Well, there's the challenge. So it gives everybody a challenge, but hopefully we establish ourselves. For us, I I think Diaz and Jota make the difference when they come back. Yeah, it's massive, massive for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and that was it. You know, you're watching us last couple of games be a lot more solid, which is good. Yeah. They look tougher. Not conceding. Yeah, not conceding. We haven't conceded a goal. We haven't conceded any, you know, many big chances. You've seen less mistakes. they a bit more robust. I think the forward line, you know, although I'd love to see them sort of press and hold them back and just and just letting us be a bit more compact and yeah. picking the moments to press now. And so it's a slightly, it's, it's an adjustment, but it's working up to a point. And the point is that we're not... We're not actually scoring goals. Yeah, yeah, but I like you say, with, with, with other guys to sort of come back, like, hopefully, hopefully that'll, that'll come. But things can change quickly. I mean, we were just talking to Neil upstairs and, you know, you can get in your head a little bit that, oh, these teams are miles ahead of us at the moment, but 12 months ago, we were miles ahead of them. And yeah, this is a temporary thing. In three thing. months' time, you know, we might, we might be looking sort of you know, brilliant again. I remember this time last year going into a game full enough against Arsenal in, in the League Cup semi and at Anfield we, we looked toothless, it was nil-nil and we were struggling, Manny and Salah were off to the half corner and then we went there, just as close to the couple were brilliant to them. Suddenly oh, Joss is on fire, Oxley chamberlains looking the best he's looked in about three years yeah. and people are playing their parts. I, I think for me at the weekend, Gomez and Canati, I thought were excellent. I thought Canati was fantastic. He was absolutely dependable, and they looked like a partnership. Now I've put my money on them being a partnership before, and every time it happens, Joe has a ropey game immediately after. But I thought it was really good at the weekend. That, that's that's the form you know. I'm looking me bossy everywhere. That's the form you know that you can take into it. The midfield was partially there. Um, there's, there's the dispute at the moment. Kite is becoming a dispute. I thought he was good against Wolves. And I thought he was um, basically anonymous for about 15 minutes in the middle of the first half and then popped up and gave away a free kick in the dangerous area. And that was basically all he did. But then played this fantastic ball through to Salah yeah. that, that we could have had a goal from. But the game for me was summed up. Uh, there's a moment, Bajicic I thought was excellent. Yeah. Bajicic is playing the intelligent football in the middle of the park. He's a, he's a, for an 18-year-old footballer, he's a really intelligent player. And he's playing the ball that cuts out the first man. He's cutting out our first man playing to the second man. And he played a, a really intelligent ball out to Milner on the right, at which point Naby Keiter asked for it, got it back and then put it back to the goalie. <laughs> and, and we slowed the whole game down yeah. again. And you know, not without, not wanting to throw Keiter under the bus, but I wanted him sub to half time. And the sub I wanted was Nunes on for him. And Elliot back into the middle of the park. Which he does. Which he does. Yeah, but yeah. Bond, I think, 60-67. Yeah. I, I think, I don't often criticise the manager. I think he got the forward line wrong. Because in I terms think, of where they were positioned. In, in terms of where they were positioned. In terms of personnel, perfect. It was exactly who I wanted to start. But I thought it should have been Elliot on the right, Gakpo on the left, and Mo down the middle. And I think we'd have been a lot more threatening there because Elliot had just proved midweek how good he can be basically on the right of a five in midfield pushing forwards but how good he can be in that slot there he hasn't got the pace to torch them on the left but Gakpo has or Pierce at the moment I don't know what Gakpo does yeah yeah. He's, he, you're trying to figure him out aren't you and yeah. he's trying to figure out the plenty team, of teams and... plenty of time to find out yeah yeah. The, the turn at the cop end was excellent yeah and you know you're not looking ideally for him to have played so much as he has you know no. he's trying to sort his out and he's still trying to sort his flat out <laughs> yeah. for, for being we don't well I assume he speaks perfect do you English know, do you the bins? Do. yeah <laughs> and we don't know he could be in Sefton he could be he could be getting sold by bins by Liverpool lads who know nothing about Sefton bins it's he's really logging onto the wrong website it's, yeah. a, it's a nightmare it's, it's, yeah. it's all the logistics and no one tells you about. no one talks about football what is a combined authority he's, yeah. he's, he's screaming at the, um, at the skies YouTube Press the button, become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. The best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day, it is the Anfield Wrap.